I, the other side, clerk will note the Board of Education of the School District Act 3 in Woods County, one to hereby certify the prior to December 15th, the last calendar year, the date, time, place of this regular meeting is following. <laughs> also, the clerk of Woods County, Oklahoma, if any change has been made to the date, time, place of this regular scheduled meeting, proper notice and writing has been given to the county clerk. It's required by law, not less than two days prior to the implementation of so said change. I also certify that at least 24 hours prior to the meeting, excluding Saturday, Sunday's holidays, that the date, time, place, and agenda of this meeting is posted prominent public view at the location of this meeting. Any roll call, John? Here. Garrett? Here. 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 And I'm here. Item number four, uh, consent agenda, items 4A through 4K. Motion to approve consent agenda 4A through 4K. Motion by gentlemen, second by Caleb. How do you vote, Garrett? Yes. 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 Item number five, principal reports. Um, October was a great month. We had a lot of fun events. Uh, Creek Canyon Kindergarten enjoyed a trip, field trip to the menagerie in Alva. Mini Cheer performed on October 20th, and they did an amazing job with Pink Out Night. Um, Red Ribbon Week was observed October 30th and 31st. The students dressed up and learned important information about healthy choices and the bright futures. Swift Parade was successful because of the participation and involvement of our local businesses and residents with, and what an outstanding community we have. Uh, in October, 67 elementary students earned a spot in the Rail Club. Our veterans program was held on November 10th in the multi-purpose building, and our students and teachers gave an excellent tribute to our veterans. This Thursday, pre-K through 6th grades will attend the annual uh, Northwestern Play Schoolhouse Rock Junior. It's the 50th anniversary, so they're remaking it. Uh, admission is $2 for any parent wanting to meet us there and watch the play. Uh, sixth grade will visit the Northwest Career Tech and Alva for a career fair on Friday, this Friday, November 16th. Last Tuesday was our first home game against Buffalo. Cherokee tournament will start today with one, at 1.30 with our girls and continue on Thursday and Saturday. Tomorrow the teams will play in Tologa and in October our fifth and sixth grade also play in the Moreland uh, basketball tournament where the boys won consolation. Our elementary railroaders of the week for October were Emory Craft. Reese Bates, Bobby Laney, Nico Terry, Adley Hansen, Tex Nicholson, Valley Ibera, and Jay Beck. And then for Thanksgiving break, school will be out the 20th through the 26th. The Robo Rails Robotics team, along with their sponsor, Mr. Colson, competed in the Heart of the Best Robotics competition on Saturday, November 4th. Uh, the team of 7th and 12th graders found some success. Uh, the robot qualified for the semifinal round. They also see, received the Fourth place, best robot, uh, the most uh, photogenic, and Mr. Tolson was awarded the Coach of the Year uh, through their best uh, Heartland best deal. Ms. Pitts and the FCCLA had its annual uh, Winoka Food Bank scavenger hunt. Uh, on October 17, 15 students divided into teams, and they received over a thousand uh, food can items and $120 in donations. Uh, these proceeds will go towards the food bank for the Christmas dinner for the people in our community. Football season wrapped up their uh, regular season with a win against Tyrone. Allowed us to host Mount Goody Bo here Friday night, uh, which we won, and we'll advance to the second round of playoffs, which will go to Thackerville uh, with the kickoff at 7 p.m. Junior high basketball started their season at the Cherokee Tournament this past week. Both boys and girls play, teams played really well. Uh, we'll travel to, to Logan on Tuesday night uh, and play after the fifth and sixth graders. Uh, the FFA chapter has been busy. Twelve students traveled to compete in the regional Greenham contest. Uh, those two teams competed in open and closing ceremonies and placed in fifth and sixth. Uh, they also had their uh, Halloween party with 24 students showing up for a pumpkin carving contest and wrapped up the night uh, with the hot dogs and s'mores. During Red Ribbon Week, Mrs. Klein and Officer Robinson had two different demonstrations about impaired driving and seatbelt safety for the students. The OKC Sheriff's Department had a rollover simulator and the students drove a golf cart uh, through an obstacle course with impaired goggles on. And then Friday afternoon, Officer Robinson set up a DUI scene with seniors acting in a two-car accident. Students and I would like to thank the Winoka First Responders, uh, the Fire Department, OHP, and the Woodward Metaflight team for helping make the skit look more lifelike. Uh, Mrs. Nix and her academic team, consisting of Danny Alcato, Randy Hayes, Adriana Delgado and Carly Myers and Thomas Mathis and Stetson Nick placed third in the regional tournament. They will, will advance the area on January 13th and the Veterans Day program 
once again was a huge success. Thanks to Miss Smith, Miss Hope, and Miss Hill, uh, and all the teachers that worked extremely hard on those. And thanks to Miss Pitts and the FCC LA for preparing lunch for the veterans after the program. Thank you. All right, looking at our finances, <clears throat> our general fund, as you can see, our expenses are up on the year. We're up two hundred thousand. So just to kind of recap where, why, and where we're at. We have got about sixty thousand extra spent on insurance premiums. We had an AC repair, painting on the multi, and our excise from Woods County had gone up. So there's about sixty thousand expenditures that were increased or unexpected there. Um, we've spent. 47 of federal money, 30 of that we have not got back yet in our revenue. Um, 65,000 in increased salary, because then we're going to get that salary bump. Um, and 55,000 so far, we've started spending money on the bond, so 55,000 has come out of the general fund. Going forward, I do expect those uh, expenditures to increase probably every month because we will be paying what we can on our bond out of our general fund. So. Just kind of some expectations going forward. Looking at our revenue, <clears throat> we are down on the month, we're down on the year. This is mainly due to interest moving to building funds, so keep that in mind. Um, and then our gross production on the year is down 73,000, so that's definitely trending in the wrong direction. But <clears throat> sitting, we're sitting okay financially. I'm looking at our building fund expenditures, as you can see, this. This month, uh, we have that 93000 That is our half down payment for those lights, is what that expenditure is. If you're looking at our revenue, we're up 45000 That was, it's all due to the interest. The interest was 45000 Flipping it over, looking at our child nutrition. Um, as you can see, overall, we are down. We are in the hole on child nutrition. This is kind of what we expected last year, although we still got. Some, some child nutrition money from the state and federal to even us out. This is kind of where we were pre-COVID was under collected in that. And then same with our day here. Um, we're down about 17000 Looking at this other sheet, just <clears throat> so you're kind of aware, um, this has kind of got everything that's tied up and protested in escrow, as you can see. We've got... Um, well, a total of 2.7 in there. Now we did settle some, so we've got 2.6 in escrow waiting for the courts to go through through everything. Um, they did settle on Sandridge, as you can see there, um, and so we ended up losing about 19,000 on that. Um, the 2017 that starred uh, that they did not hold back any money in escrow, so we were going to have to pay back uh, 2,700 dollars there. <clears throat> for that settlement, but we're still waiting for Targa and DCP. Um, but if you're looking through there, obviously Targa is our big one. So, and so far there's been no movement on that that I know of. But that's kind of where we're sitting as far as our money that's tied up in escrow, uh, dating back to 2020 now. That's all I have. Unless you have questions on. Okay. Any questions? Move on to item number six, <coughs> presentation of the annual dropout college remediation report for the current school year. Yeah, the graduation report is currently open. We have two students who are showing up in the dropout report. Uh, the remediation report for the 2023 graduating class, there are 18 students, nine of those who are attending college. The uh, possible remedium remediation breakdown for the class of 2023 is two in English, two in math, and two in science. Three of those attending college scored below a composite score of 19, but all were admitted and currently enrolled at either Northwestern, Southwestern OSU, and Redlands. Uh, the ACT score does not restrict any students from attending college. College and universities no longer just use ACT as a primary admission factor. They look at class rank, GPA, and course load. There are also placement tests and new co-medial uh, classes for students that have sub scores below the mission requirements. Item number seven, vote to approve or not to approve the fundraiser for the current school year. 
Move to approve. Second. Motion by John, second by Caleb for the great school local. Uh, how do you vote, Garrett? Yes. 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 Item number eight, discussion of possible action to declare items listed on attachment A, surplus property. Make a motion to approve. Say. Motion by Garrett, second by Caleb. How do you vote, John? Yes. 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 Item number nine, consideration and vote to elect or not to elect the following as a new member of the board of directors of the Oklahoma Public School Investment Interlocal Cooperative. This would be uh, an upper down vote for Roger there. <coughs> second. Motion by John, second by Garrett to elect Roger there. How do you vote, Caleb? Yes. 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 Number 10, discussion and possible action to approve a professional development training stipend for certified and support personnel. On this one, last year we did 1800 yeah. You know, I know our expenses don't look the best go forward, but we do have to carry over the amount to afford it. So uh, I think we should at least save that amount. I'll make the motion to approve 1800 stipend. Second. Motion by Garrett, second <coughs> by John. How do you vote, Caleb? Yes. 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 Any new business? No new business. Motion adjourned. Second. Motion adjourned by John. Second by Garrett. How do you vote, Caleb? Yes.